Certain psychological conditions can cause psychogenic non-epileptic seizures, which are episodes that imitate seizures. Psychogenic non-epileptic seizures, or PNESs, are complicated because while they look like seizures, PNESs do not result from abnormal electrical discharges in the brain. Instead, they are dictated by psychological events, which a patient cannot control. Effectively diagnosing PNESs begins with a physician considering the possibility that a person's seizure-like events may not be epileptic seizures. By listening to a careful description of the events or looking at a home video of an episode, an experienced doctor can tell whether an attack has the characteristics of an epileptic seizure. But even experienced epilepsy specialists can be fooled by descriptions alone. An accurate diagnosis can often be made by recording the episode with video and an EEG in an epilepsy monitoring unit. In cases where the patient's history is unclear and an event cannot be observed or recorded, then the diagnosis may remain uncertain. Once a diagnosis of PNESs is made, treatment is very specialized and ideally should involve a partnership among a psychiatrist, a neurologist, and the patient's primary care physician. However, not all psychiatrists and neurologists are familiar with psychogenic non-epileptic seizures. You can find physicians who are by contacting an epilepsy center at a university medical school near you. Once a patient finds the right medical treatment team, the treatment must be individualized because everyone is unique. Psychotherapy can be useful to help a patient explore, understand, and manage the stressors that led to PNESs. People also can train themselves to use relaxation exercises and mental imagery of a pleasant relaxing scene at the start of their events in order to make them less intense. Treating PNESs is often complicated because many patients with the condition are given heavy doses of anti-epileptic medications. In the absence of epileptic seizures, these medications just produce side effects and make life even more difficult. Of course, remember that you should never stop taking a medication on your own. Work with your physician because sudden withdrawal can be dangerous. If someone in your family experiences PNESs, try to keep calm, be quietly reassuring, and remember that a psychogenic non-epileptic seizure does not harm the brain. If there is thrashing or physical activity, you should protect from injury. But if your presence seems to prolong the attack, it may be best to leave the person alone. In the long term, you can help by encouraging participation in psychiatric care and their relaxation exercises. A person having ongoing PNES is generally not safe to drive. After the episodes are controlled, this can change, although caution is needed. The good news is that more than half of the people who experience psychogenic non-epileptic seizures can become episode free. However, this prognosis depends upon the patient's motivation, how severe the underlying psychological or physical disorders are, and whether good medical help can be obtained. If you or someone close to you is having either epileptic or psychogenic non-epileptic seizures, please contact a physician.